There are few more stunning places on earth than the great national parks of Western USA. The concept of a park or native reserve under state ownership is believed to have originated in the USA in 1870. Yellowstone was the first park in 1872, but Bryce was not established until 1928. Hi, I'm Len Rutledge from Experience Guides, and we're at the spectacular Bryce Canyon in the state of Utah. The starting point for a park visit should be the visitor centre. Here you will find information at the Ranger Help Desk, exhibits, a 22 minute film, and maps and souvenirs. The first thing you have to understand about Bryce is that it is not a single canyon, unlike, say, the Grand Canyon, but a series of huge amphitheatres carved into a high plateau. They are gigantic. The most famous of these is the Bryce Amphitheatre, which is filled with irregular eroded spires of rock called hoodoos. These are formed when ice and rainwater wear away the weak limestone rock. Bryce contains the largest concentration of hoodoos in the world. Over two million visitors come to Bryce Canyon National Park each year, most between March and early October. Every visitor spends at least some time marvelling at its four main viewpoints, all within a few kilometres of the visitor centre. Here you can gaze into the most awe-inspiring sections of the park. But to really appreciate Bryce Canyon, you need to walk. I strongly suggest the 1.6 kilometre paved trail along the edge of the amphitheatre between sunset and sunrise points. This rim trail continues unpaved for many more kilometres. Then you need to venture down into the hoodoos via the Navajo Hoop Trail or the Queen's Garden Trail. You will discover many magical places here. Accommodation within the park is limited to the rustic lodge at Bryce Canyon and the North and Sunset Campground, which are near the lodge and the visitor centre. The canyons and plateau of Bryce Canyon National Park are home to many animals, but visitors are likely to only see antelope, squirrel, birds and maybe a reptile. There are colourful wildflowers, trees and shrubs throughout the park. These vary depending on where you are. Fir, spruce and aspen are in the higher elevations, while ponderosa pine dominates the middle altitudes and juniper forest is in the lower altitude. Bryce Point is the most southerly outlook to Bryce Amphitheatre and it is famous for its extraordinary sunrises. Unfortunately, we didn't make it at that time, but even later in the day it was spectacular. Bryce is named after Ebenezer Bryce, who journeyed with Brigham Young and the Mormon pioneers. He settled in the valley just below the canyon in 1870. The steep Peekaboo Loop Trail descends from here past the wall of windows and the three wise men, providing spectacular views and stunning hoodoo vistas. Just outside the park is the Ruby's Inn area. There is a large general store, a very nice hotel, RV park, campground, rock shop and much more.
grabbed something to eat, then went exploring. We're just outside the park now and we've stopped for a little while at this general store come tourist area. It's typical of a lot of places along this particular stretch of road. Just come and have a look. Look at these wonderful examples of petrified wood. Timber which has been turned into stone. If you do the wrong thing in this area, you'll end up in a place like this, locked up. This old water wheel here is a fantastic addition to this complex. Bryce Canyon National Park has been exciting and very interesting, but now it is time to look for accommodation in one of the local towns. If you would like to see more experienced guides videos, please subscribe to our channel. We would love you to do so.